Taylor and I are going on a boat today. I'll be wakeboarding. I will not be participating. The sample sale was cute. I got this hat because I wanted a bucket hat because as you guys know, I'm terrified of the sun. <laughs> What you made for, and there's nothing that is too late for. I love the cold into my warm hand in the sun. Somebody be gone. I just packed up all of our stuff. We are heading to Acapulco, Mexico this morning for a tournament. I love this tournament. It's so beautiful. The people are so nice. The fans here, I'll show you guys. They're crazy. They are taking a jet there and I wanted to talk about it before because I didn't want to just be like posting like douchey videos in this PJ, but if it was my choice, we would not be taking it because I'm absolutely terrified of small planes, helicopters. Acapulco is very difficult to get to from Miami and also very expensive. So Taylor is splitting it with two other players. You guys haven't noticed, I am a serial outfit repeater and I hyper fixate on outfits and will literally just repeatedly wear them. I think I've shown this outfit in like both of my last vlogs, but it's from Henne Boutique and I'm just obsessed with it. It's just very comfy. Just landed and got into our villa that I will show you guys. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm really struggling here. Um, anyways, I want to show you guys what I do or I guess drink after flights. I will take a vital proteins like collagen. It has hyaluronic acid in it and mix it with a liquid IV and pour both of those into a water bottle. Traveling this much just wreaks havoc on my skin because I get so dehydrated. So the collagen, hyaluronic acid, and then electrolytes will help me feel better after the flight. And then I also never eat on flights. I will usually just have like one or two of these. Well, I ate it on the flight, but beef jerky because it keeps me full. Post flight meal. The tournament gave us a villa this week, which is so nice. It's basically a full house. If Taylor doesn't lose first round, then we'll be here until I think March 5th. So like nine days. When we got here, they had this little welcome set up. Welcome Taylor Fritz, best of luck. And I had a little walk over inside. This is the living area and we have like a full kitchen, fully stocked. Yeah, and then if we go upstairs, a little living room, studio area. I don't know, there's like a TV in there. There's another bedroom in there. And this is the master that Taylor and I are staying in. I've just started to unpack. We've got that big bathroom and then this balcony, which I'm gonna love waking up to in the morning so pretty i don't know why unpacking is just like the worst thing ever to me i hate doing it but once it's done it's so nice to just not have to dig in my suitcase every morning and look for things it just helps make places feel so much more homey and traveling so much i just don't really like feeling like i am living out of a suitcase 24 7 even though i am so i'm gonna unpack everything and then i think just maybe take some photos for Instagram and chill for the night. Have this tripod that I got on Amazon and then this is the app Lens Buddy and I thought that this corner would be cute to take photos in. My favorite time to take photos is between 5 and 7 p.m. because I think the lighting is really nice. So I'm going to take those and basically this app will just take photos so I hit that and then it will count down and then it'll just fire off a bunch of photos. One thing I did want to address because I got messages about this last year, I'm sure I'll get questions about it this year. Acapulco is one of, I think, six areas of Mexico that is on the do not travel list for the US. And I think the last like 20, 30 years has just become very plagued by drug violence. So everyone who comes for the tournament, they recommend for us not to leave the resort or the tournament, like only go back between those and not 
go into the city. For example, the residences that we're staying at have fully armed guards outside of them and right outside the villa right now there's like two fully armed guards and they're there 24 7 so every year that i've come here i've absolutely loved my experience here the people are so nice the food is so good the fans at the tournament are absolutely amazing and i don't know what the experience is of people who live here anyways just wanted to address that yeah i got okay if i can do this every day why are you walking like that? Hey, good morning. I just showered and got changed. I'm going to be honest, I do not really thrive in tropical climates. I much prefer to travel to a city or something because I get really bored and really like restless and antsy because there's not really anything to do but lay out and go to the pool and I've talked about this on my socials before but I do not tan I do not lay out in the sun at all if I do I'm like covered head to toe in SPF because I have a history of skin cancer in my family I've gotten eight biopsies on my body a few of those did come back with precancerous cells so this scar right here and this little scar right here are both from having to get moles literally like dug out of my body and having to get stitches and stuff so i'm very careful about sun tanning and just like skin cancer and skin health but like i said there's not really a ton oh my god the kitty's back i befriended this cat yesterday well not really because he just kept hissing at me um i was trying to feed him blueberries and look he's right there hi buddy okay i'm gonna try to feed him in a sec maybe that will be my entertainment for the week but anyways i just had my protein shake and now i'm going to take my vitamins because my goal for this week is to be very consistent about taking vitamins because i'm really bad about it but as you guys can see my skin is just struggling right now these aren't any like active bumps but i'm a skin picker and so i just destroyed my face the last couple of days and it's really frustrating to me i am extremely extremely acne prone and i was using a product that i didn't realize had shea butter in it it was the kosas concealer and i absolutely love kosas but this specific product just broke me out really bad and i didn't realize that i was using something that had like shea butter in it which is really bad for your skin if you're acne prone so this is from amazon it's called dim it is a estrogen metabolism support but it really really helps with acne if i take this consistently for like two weeks my skin will get so much better especially these hormonal breakouts on my chin so i'm taking one of those and i'm taking these hair and energy pills and these skin and digestion pills which i I'm hoping will also help with my skin right now. The only issue with these is that is the size of the pill. It is so big. So I have to break it in half. But even then, honestly, every time that I take these, I think that I'm going to choke and die. Well, I basically almost do choke and die. And I gag every single time that I swallow a pill. Ugh. Okay, last one. Yesterday, he would not let me within 10 feet of him. But today, we're getting a little closer. He still won't let me touch him, but <laughs> at least he'll get a little bit closer to me now because I have food. I ordered chips and guac and tuna ceviche, and I'm reading my book. So I finished The Power of Habit last week, and now I'm reading Living Untethered by Michael Singer. And I've actually read one of his books before called Untethered Soul, and anytime that anybody asks me for a book recommendation, specifically like a self-help type book, that is pretty much the one and only book that I will recommend to people and I always saw like TikToks and stuff of people saying like this book changed my life this book changed my life and I read so many books and I was like when am I gonna find the book that changes my life and genuinely Untethered Soul by Michael Singer I think changed my life I'm not sure if he wrote this one before or after he wrote Untethered Soul but it's a lot of kind of like similar information and concepts just kind of explained in a little bit different of a way which was super fun but honestly kind of terrifying because the waves were 10 feet tall it's really windy out today so it was just really choppy out but it was super fun it was such a beautiful day now i'm just getting ready on my balcony i just filmed a 
little TikTok and I'm gonna go to Taylor's practice. And then we have the player party tonight. So pretty much every single tournament has some version of a player party, but this one in particular in Acapulco happens to have the reputation of being like the one player party that all players actually go to because it's super fun. It's right on the beach, it's massive, and everyone has to dress in all white. <laughs> But we were just in a state until something better came along